Welcome back, Cordlings, to more Neverwinter Nights. Got a secret door here in the Dracolich Lair. Oh. <laughs> Guess I could have used that to hide. Uh, that's crap. Gonna make me run all the way out of here. You mother shit. A grateful figure hunches before you on the temple steps. His knobby hands claps fervently before him. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, many thanks, yes. We are truly free now, both from our prior slavery and from the terrible tyranny of Vixthra. You're welcome. So what? What, you think I did it for you? Yes, yes, of course you did, for us, for Deering's Deep, for the cause of freedom, real freedom, the light of the darkness. You are a veritable light in the darkness. What are you gonna do now? Why, leave the village. Free more slaves. Build your fences now that vixter has gone. Protect against the slave trackers. It's time to build a better life, it is. A better life right here in Dreaming's Deep. Hear that, boss? Maybe if we come back, they're gonna throw us a party. Maybe they even have cake. Deacon likes cake. Freedom is worth fighting for. Even worth dying for. Remember this, or you may find yourself slaves once more. Thank you, thank you, Glug Glug. In one fell swoop, you've given us what we've dreamed of and been so scared to have for all these years. Thank you, thank you, a thousand times thank you. Thank this, bitch. You are slaves no more. <laughs> there is an exit to the surface no farther than I know. We could search for it if you wished. This level is just a pain in the ass here. God for boots of haste. Done all we can pretty much to help out Seer. I'm going to return. Only just in time. Seer's been asking for you quickly. I'll take you to her. I'm sure she has. The army of the Valshares is on the move. They are marching on Lith Mayathar. Let them come. We're ready for them. I am glad to hear you say that. It is time to make our final stand. 
I have been given another vision. A vision of you leading our troops against the Valsheress. I will lead the troops to victory! You have proven yourself worthy of this honor. Even House Maevir will follow your orders in the coming battle. Zanza! We will make preparations all through the night. In the morning, the enemy will arrive and the battle will begin. While we do this, you must rest. We will wake you before the battle. Okay! Vendui, Sir Fisher. I greet you. Are you aware of who I am? What a fine looking drow, if I might say so. The drow smirks and arches an eyebrow at you. Indeed. I take that as a compliment rather than an indication of complete ignorance, gentlemen. I am Valshress, as you must already know. And you? You have proven a most frustrating adversary worthy of my attention. Have you a name? Must I continue to refer to you simply as Jungle? My name is Lagla! Lagla, so be it. A name to put to face that I have become familiar with. I am pleased we finally meet. She steps toward you, her eyes suddenly traveling with the length of your body as she mischievously grins. You have proven yourself to me, Lagla, a powerful male able to shake all the underdog before you. Together, our power will be unstoppable. When you are at my side, all the underdog will be ours. The surface world as well. Her eyes meet yours, bright with eager ambition. What do you say to that, Mugglog? Ooh, that sounds good! I might consider such an alliance. Indeed, her grin, her grin warms. It is good to know that you can be reasonable. I see a pointless in battle when I need only be flexible. She leans in close and you can smell an exotic, dusky perfume. Much that we can teach each other, Lugla. There are many reasons for us to join forces and the rewards are limitless. Perhaps you are right! We need to do but one thing. When my forces attack, lift them up out. Open the gates for them. That will prove your intentions. I would gladly do this, but I am under a gaze to fight you. Smile whites. This I can remove from you. Worry not. Very well. You have yourself an ally. And I also need some kind of immediate reward. She smiles with me. I can provide well for you, love, love, if you wish. I can send you a room with great power now, and later all you desire and more. Very well. You have chosen wisely, sir, sir. You need to continue your charade with the rebels for only a short while before my army arrives at Lithmyathar. You do not give yourself away. Now I will remove this foolish Gias Halaster placed you under. Oh, Gias, that that's how you say it, okay. Remember, the gates must be opened. You will not regret your decision. Ensure that I do not regret mine. I think about it. This is Commander Imloth. I have sent this wisp to act as my eyes and ears for the coming battle and to allow me to communicate with you. As the battle progresses, I will report to you any happenings on the battlefield that you need to be aware of so you can direct the troops as you see fit. How do I direct the troops? Your troops are gathering in the plaza behind you. Waiting your orders. Speak to the leader of the group squad leaders to issue orders to the units. The squad leaders carry a flag for easy identification. Take care of placing your forces now. Once the battle begins, issuing orders will be much more difficult. We have to leave troops guarding both the port and the city core in case the enemy finds a way to cross the dark river, so there are no reinforcements available. Any idea of the enemy strategy? The Valstress will try to break in the city proper. Both the outer and inner gates are destroyed. We will be forced to pull back to the city core. Several catapult emplacements are set up nearby. They will fire automatically at our foes, but you can assume control yourself if you wish to direct them against a particular enemy. We also want to speak with the unique reinforcements that have joined us to discuss strategy. Good luck, Lord. The fate of Liv Nath all. The fate of us all is in your hands. Huh? Sucks for you guys! I greet 
you. actually tried this the evil way but should be worth checking out. sure even if you do betray the seer still uh, still end up having to fight Mesistopheles in the third chapter either way so I'm gonna go ahead and betray the Valsharess but I do want to blow up the door once see what happens here Valstress would have gave me some Punani for the seal of the deal.
What have you done? You doomed us all. <laughs> we are betrayed. Fall back. Save the seer. You doomed us all. Valstress said we would have an ally amongst the rebel ranks. Feel free to join us in our slaughter as we crush this rebellion once and for all. Ooh, I like this. This is truly fucked up. My name is Ashal. The Valstress is Hat. Through me, she sees all and transpires on the battlefield. My mistress is pleased you have chosen to join us in our final push into Lithmarthal. The battle is all but over, and my mistress has one last order for you find and kill the seer. Folks, I guess if I'm gonna do an evil LP, this is the way to do it. It's like I've lost Vader also. Until she gives me a reason not to. 
I'm not so easy to double cross. Oh, indeed you are not. Look at what this drow has already reached for, and tell me that she would not still make the attempt, regardless of the risk. She fears you, mortal. She has seen the future and knows that you could destroy her. Do you think her pride would allow you to exist one moment longer than you needed to? Yours is the destiny to possess true power. You need share nothing with the drow. Take it. Take it for yourself. I would gladly serve one who is truly worthy. Doesn't she have you bound? How is that you have a choice in this? <laughs> the difference between what the drow knows and what she thinks she knows is vast, mortal. Do not make the same mistake as she. What do you say to my offer? Can't save. Forget it, I don't trust you any more than her. Then you are a fool, mortal. For what comes next <laughs> is inevitable. Hold. Why are you two conversing? What are you trying to do, surfacer? Speak Your arch devil is trying to, to betray you. That's what's happening. Mephistopheles is bound to me, Cretan. He cannot betray me. Not as you can. Jalkala Sawela. All trust is foolish. I shall not make that mistake again. Uh oh. Mephistopheles, I command you. Destroy this surfacer. My red sisters, slay this fool now. Wait a minute. What about bang bang time? I shall not do as you desire, great Valcherez. Uh oh! You pissed off a real demon lord! Uh-oh. A great lord of the devils 
able to roam amongst the primes and bring suffering to them as I wish, with not a one who possesses the power to stop me. Oh no, you want a Rochambeau for it? I would begin with you, dear mortal, but since we are bound so closely, that would not be prudent. Instead, I will send you someplace you may not interfere. And the relic, that I will relieve you of now. I wish you well in hell, mortal. You have proven most useful. The hells? Oh, I already was one into vacation there. Do you got a plane ticket for me? As always, distant flames flicker within his reflective, fe featureless face, and you shiver in spite of yourself. How may I serve you, sojourner? I have died and wish to return to where I fell. I am sorry, sojourner. The Reaper sighs heavily. You are now barred from the world of Toril. I cannot comply. I command you! You are barred from returning to that world by the command of Mesistopheles. He bows low once again. I am sorry, sojourner. It is Mephistopheles who rules here, and so he can command me. So you work for Mephistopheles all along? The Alch Devil uses me as he uses all things, such as his nature. I was not always his subject, but once he learned of my true name, I was his forever. What's a true name? All beings have a true name that is the definition of their personal essence, their very existence. Should another learn your true name and speak it to you, then they rule all that you are. Mesistophisly discovered my true name long, long ago, though I now know not how. Only he knows it, so he alone commands me despite whatever I might wish. Mesistophily used you as well, creating a devil's deal that you are unaware of. A bond was formed the moment you discovered the relic, and upon killing the one who held him captive, you took his place, and he is yours. I should destroy you for betraying me! You have great power, Sojourner, but I am part of this realm that is everywhere and nowhere. You can only destroy me if you possess the power to destroy me in all places. Through your bond, you have assured the chains that once held Mesistopheles, so as he was once bound to this realm of Kenya, so now are you. His prison has become yours. What is Kenya? Kenya is the eighth hell of Bator, the frozen waste and the dreaded depths. Here Mesistopheles is lord of all prisoner both, or he was until he slipped the chains and placed them onto you. Here? But I'm not in Kenya, am I? I thought this was Kansas! You forgot, Sojourner. This realm is all places as well as none. We exist in Kenya just as everywhere else. Part of your prison just as not. He gestures to the mist-shrouded door that stands alone in the far end of the chamber. That path leads to Kenya as it always has, so it has been part of you since the bond you created. It is no longer barred to your passage. Is there nothing you can do to help me? Alas, I cannot. I have been commanded by Mesistopheles not to allow you to return to Toril, and you are no longer possess his relic. If you learned my true name, you could command me to break the bond between you and return you to Toril. I know not how you would learn of it, however I cannot tell it to you. How could I discover your true name? This I do not know. I cannot provide it to you willingly, Sorgerer. And I have no knowledge of how Mephistopheles discovered it. If you did learn it, however, then you would be free. You sound as if you prefer to betray Mephistopheles. I cannot openly betray the one who holds my true name, Sojourner. There is almost a hint of smile in the Reaper's featureless mirror of a face. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Enough talk. 
Lug Lug is not one for talk. It's one for action. Do the fucking game. Send me to Kenya! Kenya's bitter winds extinguish your paltry flame before it even has a chance to catch. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You have to find some other way to make a fire. Anyways, that wraps it up for this bit, folks. Stay tuned for more Neverwinter Nights.